VS Code is a free, open source, widely used code editor with tons of extensions. The Salesforce extensions make development more productive. Let's see them in action. There are shortcuts to commonly used SFDX CLI commands. The org create command takes some parameters, and the extensions give you smart defaults for those. Other commands, like push and pull for code, are even easier. Other commands are based on the context. Need to test a query before saving it to your org? Highlight it and run it against the REST API. Same with Apex, you can highlight it and run it anonymously. The extensions are configurable at the user and workspace level. So we can turn on or off features like deploy on save. Now when we save a file, it deploys automatically to our org. The extensions also deliver language support. So VS Code can give you autocomplete, and tools like Prettier can make your code prettier. Similarly, in LWC, types are generated so it's aware of what I can import. And pre-built snippets of commonly used functions help things go faster too. You can run an Apex test right from the class or method with a single click. You can turn on highlighting of your classes to see which lines have test coverage. We can even create this scaffolding for an LWC test, where it sets up the file for us in the correct directory, and run this local test from the file just like we could in Apex. And if you've got a lot of tests, you can monitor and manage them all from the test panel. Debugging JavaScript locally is built into VS Code, but the extensions let us replay Apex logs in the debugger. First, we'll set a checkpoint and then update the org. We'll make sure that debugging is on so that all of the levels and trace flags get set properly. Now we'll run our test to generate some logs. We'll retrieve the latest log. And when it opens, we'll select open it in the replay debugger. And now we can step through code execution and look at local variables just like any other debugger. We can also run our LWC locally, even if they're connecting to an org for data. I'm gonna choose desktop, but we could also run the LWC in mobile emulators. This starts up a local server. I'm gonna drag the preview onto the page so you can see it. Any change we make to our component refreshes the preview so we can rapidly iterate before we push it to our org. And that's a quick tour of some of the VS Code extensions that make developers more productive.